If you're like me, there's many wonderful children's resources out there that give you joy. One of these for me is the series Veggie Tales. Now, the first Veggie Tales film I ever saw was called Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. In it, Junior Asparagus has a friend over, and while she's there, he breaks a very valuable collector's plate that belongs to his father. Now, Junior, like many of us, is afraid of what's going to happen to him, of what his father's reaction is going to be. He's not sure what to do or which direction he should turn to. And then with almost perfect timing, Fib comes out, a tiny little purple space rock that has just recently fallen into the city where Larry Boy and Junior live. And Fib has a proposal. Junior should just lie about what happened. After all, a little white lie never hurt anyone. But the thing is, someone broke the plate. And the more and more people ask Junior what happened, the more he gets other people in trouble. And as he lies and lies, Fib grows and grows until, after being a tiny space rock, he's now a giant King Kong-sized monster. Fib's intention was never to help Junior. It was always about growing, so that Fib could eventually devour everything in his path, including Junior, who he owed his growth to. But there are some in the town who do want what's best for Junior. Larry the Cucumber, in his secret identity as the hero Larry Boy, and his trusty butler, Alfred, are two of those people. And both of them work to try to help save Junior and the city from Fib. Larry Boy almost even sacrifices his life to do so. And then Alfred yells to Larry Boy that there is one thing that can stop Fib. It's Junior. And in hearing that, Junior knows what to do. I did it, he yells. I broke the plate. And as he tells more and more of what actually happened, Fib gets smaller and smaller until poof, he's gone. In this digital age of Twitter and the 24-hour news cycle, we, like Junior, hear a lot of voices telling us what we should do. But, like Fib, not all of these voices have our best interests at heart. Thankfully, we do have someone we can turn to to listen to. Someone who is calling out for those of us who will only open up our ears to hear what he has to say. Someone that doesn't want us to see us go down the path of destruction, but instead, like Larry Boy, is willing to put himself on the line so that we might live. That person is the great shepherd who we celebrate with our readings this morning. That person is the victor over sin and death who we celebrate during this Easter season. That person is Jesus. We are told in the gospel this morning that his sheep 
listen to his voice. And why is it that we should listen to Jesus? Why is it that we listen to his voice? It is because it is the voice of a shepherd who wishes to guide us. It's the voice of one who wants what's best for us. It's the voice of one who wishes to lead us into life, and life abundantly. Jesus is the shepherd who is with us, even as we walk through the darkest and darkest things and fears around us. He is the one that as we heard in the psalm this morning, that as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For he is with us. His rod and his staff are there to comfort us. And as we hear in 1 Peter, Jesus is the shepherd who laid himself down on the line for us, who suffered for us, to keep us safe. Who even when he was struck down and afflicted, made sure that we were healed, even through the saving power of his very blood. Jesus, as the gospel tells us, is the shepherd, the gate, the way, the path, the light for us, who came that we might have life. And he came not only so that we would have life, but so that we would have it abundantly. Jesus is the voice we seek to recognize. Because we know that if we hear that voice, then he will be with us, even in our darkest moments. If we listen to that voice, we know that we will be led away from those things that wish to entrap and ensnare us and instead move towards his life-giving grace. We know that if we follow his voice, then everything will be all right. That in all manner of things, all will be well. There are a lot of voices out there, like fibs, that wish us to forge the path to our own destruction. But Jesus is there to guide us away from those voices. Just as 1 Peter says, when we are going astray, Jesus is there to be the shepherd to bring us back so that we can live in the way that we were truly meant to live. He's there so that he can bring us back to that path of life, so that we might not live only for ourselves, but for the God who loves us and died for us. So that instead of following our own wants and needs, we can move forward to live in right relationship with both God and with each other. So that we, as we hear, in the two great commandments this morning, can love God with the very core of our being, and so that we can also love our neighbors as ourselves. In Lent, we strive to listen more deeply to the voice of the Good Shepherd, so that we could prepare ourselves to be guided back from the ways of sin and death. Now that we are in Easter, we have the chance to listen to him still. We have the chance to let Jesus continue to guide us as we follow him through the gate to the path of life abundant. So let us go and listen so that we can continue to move forward as we strive to follow 
our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all that more deeply.